Today I'm going to do a little video around manufacturing. The idea behind this is, and again, the same with all the other videos, if you haven't already seen the main video on how when you buy the true ERP suite, you get every module down the left hand side here, how these are all included in the package, you get the lot, how the system is real time, and the moment that I do anything anywhere, everything else knows about it. Please stop this video and go back and watch the main demo video. This will give you a great overview of what we're about to do. But today I'm going to focus around manufacturing and what you can do here. This by no means is a detailed show of what we're doing. It's just to give you a bit of a rough overview, a bit of an idea. And again, contact us. We can give you a much more detailed presentation to suit exactly what you're looking for. All right. When you look at any products inside ERP, you can set up bill of materials in all sorts of ways. The main structure behind the bill of materials is the screen you're seeing here. And this can be set up with as many sub-levels, different uh, layers as you like. There really is no limitation to it. In my little demonstration today, we're going to build a wagon. This is made up of a number of options, handles, tray, wheel assemblies that has subs under it, wheel choices, hubs, those sorts of things, color choices. And again, I can add to these at any time. Um, I can simply uh, right click on it, add to it, adjust it, choose whatever I want and away I go. Each of these can have different processes assigned to it. And what I mean by that is a process is something you would typically do to the product. So I weld the handle on and in this case it takes an hour and 26 to weld. So the idea there is you set up a bit of a process, a bit of a structure, and this will build your wagon as one. All right, so once you've built your bill of materials, and in here you can include your labor, costs, all those sorts of things. We'll go back. We'll now set up and sell or build a wagon. And the best place to do that from is your orders here. And I'm gonna do something for go for gold. Little pop-ups will come up giving you information about the client and they haven't paid their bill for a while so we need to sort that one out. Here I can load their history, whatever they've used in the past, um, but for now I'm just going to cancel that. If this was an internal order, if I was just building the wagon for stock, I'd simply turn the tick on there and it becomes an internal build. If it's for a customer, turn that off and put the customer name in there, nice and simple drop in a wagon and as soon as we drop this in again I can have a range of pop-ups I can also go in and edit the tree as much as I like so here's our tree and again here's our structure along the way I can make changes so look I want a different set of wheels and as I change this you'll notice the costings pricing structure everything changes automatically as I pick a different choice here in my wheels I can put different colors, options, whatever I choose along the way. I can change what I build. Um, I may wish to build two handles, or I may wish to order the tray in and not actually build it. So again, I simply change what I'm gonna do there. So I can either take it from stock, build it, or order it in. All of these steps can be done at any point. You can have your salespeople not do this and have your factory manager do this or the other way around, whatever you choose. These are just simply options that you turn on and make those changes for you. Now by default, because I said I wish to order goods in, it's automatically created my purchase order to order those goods in. That's all I need to do now to build that wagon. So I've put that into the system. A number of things have happened automatically. When I look at my product list, it's automatically adjusted what I have on build and all the components have moved to being on build for that wagon. The purchase order has gone into the system and that's to order in our goods that we needed. There it is there for production and for the tray and it automatically said I need more wheels as well so to place those on order. You'll notice it's put the customer job name in automatically. I didn't need to do anything to make that happen. 
and it's automatically put into my manufacturing section ready for whichever way I choose to use that so I can deal with that in a number of different ways I can either deal with it through capacity planning and this will tell me what I have scheduled in already and what is to be scheduled so that's my job there I can run it via barcoding where the whole factory floor is run by a barcode the guys touch nothing but a barcode scanner and they run the whole job there this will give you times labor costs down to the second right down to the second I can run it via Gantt chart where I can see pictures of what's going on on my factory floor again all of these are available and which one you choose to use is entirely up to you so there's a Gantt chart on my factory floor and what's supposed to be happening All right, if we go back to our capacity planner I'm going to use this section for now um, and I'm going to auto schedule it I can manually schedule these if I choose but I'll just auto schedule it auto load let the system work out when it should arrive and what should happen and you'll notice here that it's loading it automatically and it said I should get that job finished by next Wednesday you'll also notice that out on the left here it's telling me that the goods have not arrived yet but I'm going to override that and ignore it now from this point you'll notice the status is scheduled I can then book in any number of statuses I want I can do my job status I can look at the details of the job I can print it out I can see on the floor what the guys have to do and when they should be doing it I can produce production worksheets job cards at any point in time that I choose like so and again all designed around that simple barcode manufacturing it's right there for now I'm going to complete an invoice imagining that the process has been done all the way through and as simple as that not only did I create the order built the order I've invoiced it and my job profitability and everything has been updated if I now go out and look at my cards I can look at my job profitability at any time again this is real time happens immediately if I zoom in on any one of these it'll give me down to the quote purchase order invoice whatever I choose I can also look at that under my build profitability this will give me my running totals at the real time and what money we've made on that job so whether I've lost money made money a whole lot so again the idea there is you can run this through capacity you can run it through barcoding uh, you can run it through simple job costing but any one of those will give you the ability to immediately update what's going on with your jobs you can time it down to the second your costings can be accurate to the second and the whole system runs beautifully real-time and automatic